everyone, Melissa here from Milk Creations, coming to you today with the third episode of Shape Card Saturdays, and let's go ahead and get started. So the design number that we'll, we will be using for the silhouette this week is 265954. So let's type in 265954 and click search. And as you see, I already own her. And just click on that, purchase it, and let's head on over to the library. This file is called uh, Lavish Ladies Parasol, so I'm just going to start to type that in so that I can pull up my image. All right, and as you see, this image comes already separated, and unfortunately, we'll have to put her back together. So let's right click and ungroup. And so we're going to start uh, putting her back together. And I just want to say this image is a little large. Let me click on that so you can see the measurements. It's 7.666 7 by 4.614. And she will be a little larger than that once we put the base on. And I do want to say keep her that size. Or you can even make her just a hair larger. Only because uh, when you go to cut out the shoes, this the sides of the shoes are very thin, and um, so you will have to give space for that. I think they're thinner than a sixteenth of an inch when you go to cut it out, so it's like very thin. And if you can't um, get this as precise as possible, um, just um, go up to your key. Let me show you your zoom in key and just zoom in so you, you can get everything pretty precise as far as the outer um, the outer lines. Let's go ahead and group that together. OK, now let's put her. Let's get her some clothes on there. All right. Put that there. Let's put the shoes on. And this one and I hope you've taken note of how I'm putting her together because when you go to put her together in uh, real life or you know with the paper that's pretty much the same way you're gonna have to layer up the, all of the images so that they'll go in order except for the flower the flower is gonna go on before you put that this arm extension on okay um, but here we go. Take note on how you layer this flower, because wherever you lay this flower, that's going to be how it's going to cut out. And you want it to cut out pretty good. Like you don't want this blocking the um, the center part of that flower. So just kind of eyeball it where you want it at. It's okay that it goes through the umbrella, because you can still see that circle behind her. All right, let's put her earring on, and let's. And back. Okay, let's go ahead and group that image together. All right, and let's duplicate it as well. And move one over to the side. This is going to be the, the image that you're going to actually cut out over here. Let's go get her base that she's going to stand on. I chose the rounded rectangle, and we're just going to kind of make a little rectangle around her feet. Go back up to the arrow so that you can get your little cursor back. And then uh, kind of center it around her feet. And it will be a little slight overhang on this side, depending upon how big you make the base. You don't want it too big because you're going to have more on this side. Because you just want to make sure it's centered around her feet so that she can stand properly. So that the card can stand anyways. Okay, we're going to um, go over here to the first star or the offset panel. We're going to use that internal offset just to make a layer um, for the, her card at the end or toward the end when you go put everything together. I'm going to change that color because I like to look and see what I'm working with when I put her all together. Okay, let's go ahead and... Put a box around this image, right click, and weld. And we 
we have one single piece okay and now we're going to go over to that first star again or the offset panel click on that and we're going to click offset let's move this out the way because we'll need that later and we're going to right click and duplicate this twice and once again and we only need one of those so let's slide this over okay and we're going to get ready to create our welding point now we need to flip this horizontally all right and now let's get that welding point with a uh, with um the card being this large i would say at least have three uh points that meet and um you just need needed to to meet a little bit you know because this right here is actually going to be your top layer that you're going to put on top of that card base after you're finished all right let's go ahead and get a box around that we're going to make sure everything's lined up evenly so we're going to go over here to this transform panel this right bottom one that's right across from the vertical the one that's at the end this is the one to align the bottom just click that and it'll align automatically all right and now let's right click and weld all right and that is the base of our card this would be the next layer of the card my picture i mean my card i made um totally different color because i was making it in the color that my sister likes since i turned this into a birthday card um and so those are the colors i did for her but you're more than welcome to change the colors and if you'd like to see how your colors look you know just go over here and choose colors like click on whichever image and it has to be ungrouped at the time so that you can um, click on like the umbrella part specifically and then change the color uh, okay let's get back to making the card i actually had all of this in crafts cardstock so i'm just going to change the colors so that i can see how those look and just keep that back and then i'm going to bring her forward let's move her all the way to the front because i'm going to go and get the um the numbers and i uh i put 50 on there because my sister was turning 50. so i'm going to go over here and click on that a and we're going to go over here and click on this a and i just used Arial, and so that's where it's at right now we're going to type in 50 and just tap on that on the base let me tap on the, the screen so that, that come off and now let's make this a little bigger and see how it looks in that and i think it's a little bit too big let's make it a little smaller because we are going to put a shadow around that okay i think that looks good let's go over here go down to the star key click offset and tap on that screen so they can finish off with your shadow i'm going to make that white so that we can see how it looks and i'm going to make this one in black okay and let's just see how that all looks together and it looks pretty good so this let me um, show you how everything would look let's move this over so this would be behind that once you put the card together this should go right there you see how it's building up all that's together and then this one would behind be behind that and this would be the last layer let's send this all the way back because it's not in the back so yeah so it looked like that let me show you how my card looks but that's pretty that's pretty much it you know you would just send that to the silhouette you would definitely have to ungroup her all uh, you know ungroup her and then lay her all out on your mat and it might take two or three mats to lay out because uh, you want to group all the colors together so you can cut all the colors once but other than that yeah we're done let me show you how my card looks and hope you like it well that's all i have for you
I'll see you in a couple weeks. I think I'm, I think I like the two week schedule. So I should be back in a couple weeks and we'll have Shape Card Saturday episode number four coming at you. You all have a blessed and crafty day.